You're Josh Lyman, aren't you? Yeah. Yeah, I've seen your picture a lot. Can I ask you something? Sure. Bartlett's on the ballot for the Democratic Party and for the Statehood Party. It's okay that I voted for him in both columns, right? No, you can't vote for him in two columns. I already did. Your ballot's gonna be invalidated. What the hell for? You're only allowed to vote once. He's on the ballot twice. He's on the ballot more than that. He's on the ballot as the Liberal Party nominee. I'm saying, I'm for statehood. Me too, and yours is a vote we didn't get. I'm so sorry to interrupt. Did I hear you say you're supposed to vote for the president in both columns? No. No, uh, you can vote for the president in whatever column you want, but you can only vote once. He's right. Yes. Yes. And I'll tell you a secret for a shortcut. If you just say vote for one Democrat and leave all the rest of the boxes blank, then you voted for all the Democrats. <sighs> yes. No. It doesn't. You, you can't vote for a party. You have to vote for a person. Well, I think you're wrong. I'm not. I left all but one box blank. Well, then you voted for none but one candidate. Nuts. Did you vote for the president? Was the president the one box? Oh, who remembers? It was a minute and a half ago. Oh, don't be rude. I'm sorry. Thank you for voting. Excuse me. Yes, what? Yes. Yes, hello. Uh, you're who I think you are, right? I can be anybody you want. <laughs> That's funny. Thank you. Um, I saw you getting run over by those people. Just part of the job, man. Mm, I guess you hear some pretty silly questions. Well, I'm just worried, because they all tried to vote for Bartlett, and if this keeps up, we're headed toward the biggest electoral upset in history, and nobody's going to be able to figure out why. Right, well, it's the same thing with my parents. I tell them just rank the candidates in order of preference. No. Mr. Lyman, voted for your boy in all three boxes. No, listen to me. Your ballot is, is invalid. So is yours. Punch the box next to the candidate you prefer once. Nothing else. I'm sorry, one more thing. Yes? I have a message from Toby Ziegler. What? I have a message from Toby Ziegler. You know Toby? He says $10. I see. You guys are a little troop. A little acting troop with a U. Yes, sir, we are. Can I give you a card? No. Mr. Ziegler said you were a little edgy on election days. So, just to show there are no hard feelings, how about if I go down there and vote for the president, right now? As a matter of fact, that would be nice. No problem. Do you happen to know if I need to be, I don't know, pre-registered or something? 